Good morning guys, Louie here and today I want to talk about silver price in relation to the US dollar and why people are giving up on silver at exactly the wrong time. So what I have in front of you here is um, uh, is a chart of the price of silver reflected by the SLV. Uh, that's okay, you know, forgive me for that. And the US dollar, okay, that is the ticker UUP. And I have gone back 10 years to look at the trends on what happens uh, uh, in relation to the dollar versus silver. And of course there are many things that really affect the price of silver, but I'm going to break this down to probably one of the most important uh, relationships that uh, you can follow, and that is the silver versus the US dollar. So what we have here um, on top, on the green line, on the, uh, the bar chart, um, is the, uh, the dollar over the last 10 years and we had periods where it strengthened and periods where it weakened, then it strengthened again, then it weakened again, then it strengthened a lot, and this was uh, only a couple years ago. Uh, I think I believe it hit about 115 on the Dixie, and then began to weaken. Uh, ignore this red candle here because a dividend was paid, so um, you have to kind of ignore the big red candles. But you can see we have a cyclical pattern of strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong. Okay, And that has a lot to do with what the Federal Reserve is doing. Of course, it's in relation to other countries. All right, The value of the dollar is comparative to a basket of other currencies. Um, but uh, to oversimplify it, <clears throat> the dollar generally strengthens when uh, interest rates are high and rising and generally weakens when interest rates are low and falling as long as the U.S. is leading the way in comparison to other countries. Okay, that's all I'll say about that, but it makes sense, right? Um, a stronger, higher interest rates attract uh, other countries and people into the dollar, and lower interest rates uh, tend to have them look for better uh, alternatives. All right, the orange line here is the SLV or a pretty good proxy for the spot price of silver. And you can see it weakening, strengthening, weakening, strengthening. Now this period here where we had the big spike up to nearly $30 coincides with FOMO that was somewhat created by the uh, silver squeeze and people getting very excited that they could buy all the silver off the shelves and permanently affect the price of silver. Well, um, as I've said before, uh, spikes in anything, uh, you know, oil, gold, the dollar, silver, etc., Bitcoin, usually are met with retracements. So what I'd like you to do is just bear with me here and ignore the spike that occurred during the FOMO period. You know, that was the period where silver eagles were going for 40 or 50 bucks and everybody was going crazy paying 10 bucks over for generic silver, etc. And just to show you that I am not a perma bull, um, although I am a permanent investor in silver, I'm not a perma bull in terms of buying silver. Uh, back around this time, if you check my channel, you'll see that I was the first channel to recommend a boycott on American Silver Eagles because I saw you guys getting hurt. Um, and uh, as I said, FOMO and high premiums are a time to sit out the market, not a time to jump in with both feet. And we had the reversal. Okay, so I'm going to ignore the spike here and go kind of with the chart from these lows here. All right, so uh, we had silver weakening, strengthening, weakening, really strong, really weak, and now coming back up to about zero. So that's 10 years with no appreciable change in the price of silver. This is why people are giving up and turning to gold, which is another reason why the GSR is probably approaching 90. But I think you're doing exactly the wrong thing at exactly the wrong time. Because um, if you look at these relationships, um, when the dollar strengthens, silver weakens. Okay, And when the dollar weakens, silver strengthens. Okay, 
And again, ignore this red bar, it was a dividend. So let me take you to current time. So here we are right now with the dollar up about 30% and silver flat. And there has been um, a, a, an important change in the dynamics of the Federal Reserve in that they have indicated that they are done tightening and they are looking at lowering rates over the next three, six, nine, twelve months. You can pick your number and that could be three rate cuts, that could be six rate cuts. Um, the, the market has been fluctuating here because it has been debating how many rate cuts the Fed will do. Not if they will do rate cuts, but how many they will do. And this is why the 10-year um, spiked um, uh, recently. Um, I guess it was this move here because uh, the market was overly optimistic about the number of rate cuts and then kind of came back to reality recently, bringing the 10-year yield up to about 4.15, which I think is a pretty high number and potentially a retracement point. So if you, if you believe that interest rates will be going lower from here in the midterm, Okay, I'm not talking about the long term, I'm not talking about hyperinflation, what happens when the wheels fall off the bus. I think we've got some time before that happens. In the midterm, rates will be falling. What will likely be happening? The dollar will be dropping as well, as long as we stay one step ahead of other countries, which we are right now. So in the scenario where silver hasn't really moved for 10 years, and we are at the end of a tightening cycle, which caused a sell-off, um, and the Fed has reversed, right? What do you think will happen to the price of silver? And I think that we are basing here for another move. I know the chart looks awful, but the chart often looks awful one day, and then you see a $2 spike in silver the next day. So, um, don't look too much at the charts. And of course there's manipulation and I think they like to bring it down below the 200 day average to get everybody to give up. Um, but that is another story. That's a tinfoil hat time. But if you believe the Federal Reserve is going to be dropping rates and you believe that will cause weakness in the dollar over the midterm, let's call that over the next year, then I think you have to say silver has got a good shot of moving. At the same time, gold is, uh, is moving higher, um, is holding resistance and moving higher because a lot of people are getting into that for the very same reason. The GSR is very high and silver does not seem to want to go down below 2250. Could it hit 20, uh, 22? Yeah, it, it sure could. But I think we are going to be in a movement here over the next 12 months where you will see ch silver um, increasing in value and people starting to come back to the silver market and starting to buy the coins and bars again. Right now they're not. Right now there is plentiful silver on the shelves. The premiums are very low and, uh, you know, it is buying time. It is not selling time. It is not give up time. I believe it is buying time. And of course, if you're someone like me that has a pretty large stack, you know, you're, you're not going to be dumping here at 2250 silver. Of course not. But uh, that's my recommendation is that you look at these relationships, draw your own conclusions, turn off YouTube, and uh, see what you think about the future for the price of silver might be. Something that has been basing for 10 years, and you might say, oh, you know, what fools you are for holding for 10 years, but you know, there were a lot of people that were selling. You know when they were selling? FOMO time. So just when silver squeeze was kicking in and everybody was putting all their money into silver and eagles were 45 bucks, the people that have more tenure in this hobby were selling their silver eagles, were selling, you know, anything that had a respectable premium looking for the retracement. And here we are at the retracement. Um, well, a little above it actually, and uh, now they can replace those. You know, they can replace those forty-five dollar silvers with silver eagles in the twenty-sixes. Silver eagles do not sell for thirty dollars. Uh, uh, you know, in contrary to what Costco wants to sell them for, they do not sell for thirty dollars at 
you know, JM bullion unless you really value your relationship with that dealer. They sell in the 26s and you can find the best price by looking at my website. Every morning I check who is selling them the cheapest. I'm going to show you an example right now. My website and uh, here I just want to go, uh, this is bestsilvergolddeals.com where if you subscribe I alert you to the best deals in the market and every morning I update this. We're going to go to the Silver Eagle category and show you what the best deal is today. And Bullion Exchanges has got, uh, well, they've got one ounce uh, Silver Eagle. Y you can only get one ounce at spot, but check that out if you want to pick up that one Silver Eagle at a great price. But if you want to get the lowest overall price, here we are at Silver Gold Bull, 26.69 random date Silver Eagles, which would be the best thing to buy because the image is historic and better than the new image. Hopefully you'd get... Uh, pre-22, pre-23, I don't recall. It might have been 22 they changed over, but that would be an even better investment than the new design. And the older the Eagles get, generally the more value they accrue. 2669 is what you can pick up Eagles for today. Um, and they say spot is uh, 2269, so that's about a $4 premium. There's actually several dealers that are offering $4 premiums, and I believe Vermilion Enterprises on YouTube would be cheaper still. Let's look at the buy price. Okay, so $22.69 is what you can buy it for today, and also on my website I have got a link to what JM Bullion pays. Ever wonder what JM Bullion pays? Well, well here's the link. And all we have to do is click on silver, and you can lock this price in today and sell to them. So it's a very real price. 24, no, that's a 2024. Uh, a random year Silver Eagle is selling for 24, is buying for 24.06. Okay, as I showed you, you can, you can buy that Silver Eagle for 26.69. That is a $2.60 real spread. It's a coin I've termed, the real spread, not between what the highest price retailer sells for and what they buy for, what the lowest price retailer sells for versus what the highest price buyer buys for. That is about $2.60. Your risk at the moment for buying the best coin in the world at the lowest premium in years is $2.60 buy to sell. Okay? The real spread. Now if that ain't good, I don't know what is, and if you don't have any Silver Eagles, you should be buying them today. Buy the tubes, buy the monster boxes, whatever it is that your budget can allow. This is hands down the best choice of all potential purchases. And of course, you can get generic silver for 99 cents over spot and save $3 on the way in. But, you know, on the way out, uh, JM Bullion is going to pay what? Let's see what they pay. Did I lose it? Let's see what they pay for generic silver. Uh, well, we can do a 10-ounce bar, can't we? Uh, one second. Oh, one ounce silver coin. Okay, they're paying twenty-one eighty-one, which is about a dollar back of spot. Okay, so you might be able to find that coin for a um, dollar over spot or a dollar fifty over spot. JM Bullion will pay you a dollar back of spot. You've got this two to three dollar real spread as opposed to uh, what did I say that was a three dollar and sixty cents real spread. See, the deal is. You can do this and save a couple bucks. But if you do this and FOMO returns, and you're not one of the guys that's buying, you're one of the guys that's selling, you sell this eagle. I mean, this bar will go up, but this eagle will go up. Uh, the premium will triple from what the bar's premium will be. And then you can, you can sell it and trade back out for anything you want uh, or even gold. Um, etc. So I do believe the Silver Eagle is the best choice. Okay, that's all I have on that. All right, so that's all I wanted to talk about today. I'll leave you with an image of some cool silver uh, just for something pretty to look at, but I do hope you will uh, consider what I've been saying and consider if now might be the right time to uh, pick up silver. Okay, buck the trend and do uh, what others are not doing. 
You do the opposite, and it usually works out pretty well. Anyway, that's my prediction, and uh, I think we're going to see better times ahead for the price of silver and gold. And if you don't buy it when it's dropping, then you're going to be buying it when it's increasing, and uh, you know, then you're going to pay the higher premiums as well. So I think it's buy time, and uh, I hope you do too. And if you'd like to. Uh, make any comments or counter this argument in any way, feel free. We can have a good debate about that. And, uh, you know, you guys, uh, just have a great weekend and keep on stacking.